key guys well you can see in the video we ran out of memory in my camera so I'm going to finish it by uh, using my phone and we're going to just do a summary this is actually the finished product we did a few changes after the memory ran out uh, for instance we had changed this large tree uh, to represent uh, a smaller not as big a diameter tree but we uh, hidden that with the uh, placing of these evergreens uh, kind of out front, uh, more forward to the foreground of the picture, along with the, the grass and the darker shadow. The shadows going across, of course, the, the trailway there of snow. And uh, you see way back off in the distance, you see these uh, trees and the, the uh, growth uh, in the distance in the underbrush here at these locations right here. Uh, way off the distance you see even more uh, shadows of distant trees and growth. Uh, you see a fence line crossing the, uh, the path here and um, uh, of snow and a, pretty much an open field. And of course you have some more distant trees here uh, and here. And then you have uh, another tree in the middle ground, uh, grass. I'll zoom out and get a nice picture of that of that tree which is kind of nice and it complements this tree and then these evergreens and if you zoom in here yes yeah, and don't want to miss your birds flying you see the little twigs and branches all up in these trees uh, and uh, come down here got some more grass and snow and the brownness of the grass, of course, is because of the seasons. And then, uh, of course, the evergreens is evergreen. So they're always going to have a, a dark shade of green to them or lighter shade, depending on the, on the uh, whether it's a blue spruce or if it's just an evergreen. Um, you're always going to have those uh, colors, even during winter. And so here's the final foreground. And you back up. Over, overall view and now let's take a quick look at the pictures